Good boy, Hoosier. So, Well Wolf, take me through all, all of this a madcap bunch that you have rolling here because, um, I mean, they look like they mean well. Yeah, yeah. This is Ashley, my girlfriend. Hi, Ashley, my girlfriend. Hello. <laughs> this is her daughter, Riley. Hey, Riley. Hi. This is her son, Jim. Luke Combs. Hi. See you, mate. <laughs> and her other daughter, Maddie. Hey, Maddie. And her Hi. boyfriend, Walker. Hey, Walker. And that's. Hoosier. Hey, Hoosier. Let's not forget, I'm like, I'm like the other important one here. The other important one? Yeah. So, uh, how do you figure that? Oh, pressure is on, Will. Don't screw this up. <laughs> I don't know. What? Oh. Crew chief. Oh, crew chief, yeah. Yeah, that's right. She, she had to actually make sure you remembered. <laughs> it's not starting off well, is I it? I forgot. She hasn't been coming to the races the last two nights. I'm busy. <laughs> oh, this suddenly just got awkward. Um, how did you meet this wolf of Wall, Wall Street? <laughs> She just laughed. It had to be Tinder. <laughs> no. At, at the racetrack. Okay. So you're a race fan too? Yeah. She better be. Yeah, I guess so. So everybody's wearing a Will Wolf shirt from a different era here. So Wolfie, get out of the way for a second with your Craig Ford shirt. Line up everyone and look. Who's your needs to get down? Who's just losing his mind here? Jam down. Who's your boy? All right. So line up in a, in a diagonal line here and show me these uh, these evolutions of the shirts here. Oh, you got them in the in in chronological order. Yeah. Uh, kind of. Okay. Yeah, you two need to switch. Oh. Yeah. yeah, switch out. There you go. All right. So, what was the most popular shirt of this? Uh, this, you know. You I think it's the seven. I think it's this new one. Really? I okay. Turn around. Is there anything on the back here? Oh, that's pretty cool. Turn around, please. You two are the same one, Matt. Yep. Turn yeah, that's right. Oh, I kind of like them. Yeah, go on. Oh, that one's pretty cool too. Oh, that's old school. That one. Hmm. I think I like the pink-ish kind of one. Turn around again, young lady. Well, I know which one you prefer. Hey. Which one's that? Well, the one that your missus in. Oh, yeah. right. Work with me here, Will. I'm trying to help you out. For sure. So, mate, we are hanging out right near the big Craig Ford sign, and um, it's pretty cool to be. I know that modifieds and stock cars and IMCA stuff doesn't run here at Knoxville, but, mate, that's the sprint car capital of the world we're that's standing so on. Cool. Isn't it just? Oh, for sure. When you drive through those gates there, it's like, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it'd be cool to race here. I've always wanted to, and I wanted to do the sprint car deal and got talked out of that. So. Okay. Talked out of it by nobody yeah. here, though, because these no, guys would all love that. Here. Who's, um, has someone got, like, a homecoming, Hoko, tonight or something? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> so you can disappear and go and get your uh, homecoming dress ready, please. My dog's here. I just got a lot. Oh, who's your... Did... Who's when you... When you said mad dog, is that, she, she, she just call you mad dog? That's what we call I her. I thought you meant Hoosier. No. Okay. Um, so where did this whole racing caper start for you, mate? So I started in go-karts when I was four back in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of ran go-karts for a few years. Yep. Moved up to some micro sprints. Uh, went to college and then we did the SCCA road racing around like oh, wow. Kansas City. I'm really glad that didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I moved to Iowa. Um, the end of 2017 yep and there was really nothing up here as far as go-karts road racing any mm -hmm. of that stuff we're all about this mate yeah so i looked into you know getting back in a micro and that stuff really wasn't up here either and then i went to a couple of races with dylan van wick um yeah sport mod yep and ended up buying a sport mod at the end of 2021 yeah so ever since then that's what we've been doing yeah I love sport mods. I mean, I love everything about IMCA. Um, stand there underneath that really cool sign that's up there, just to, so I can get your frame. Get over there underneath that so we can keep Craig smiling. So how did you meet Craig Ford? So actually, I was uh, looking. I moved down to Grinnell. I moved in with Ashley. Yep. And was looking for something. Good job, Ashley. Gave him a place to live. Gave him some home cooking. <laughs> yep. And Matt DeYoung um, yep. recommended that I reach out to Craig about going to work for him. Yep. So I've been down there about a year and a half. I'm a service manager down there at the at the Ford store. Yeah, nice, mate. He's a very passionate man, and he's got plenty of views and opinions and keeps telling me the earth is flat, which confuses me when I drive home, uh, you know, in that big plane <laughs> to Australia. But he's very passionate about racing and a 
great supporter of the community. Oh, for sure. He, he loves racing. He loves sport car racing. He's, he's just a great person. So this is a pretty basic design that you have with this car. This is one of the things I first noticed, you know, with the car is that it's a pretty simple design, a pretty simple layout. Where did you come up with this? What was the thought process behind the beautiful lawns on the side there as well? Cedar River tint and let's not forget Eastern Iowa trailer sales. That's, that must have taken some while on that graphic, that, that decal. That, that took a long time, probably about um, 30 seconds. And you got capital down there as well. Oh yeah, so... This was one of my favorite drivers growing up in Kansas City. Um, oh, it's John, a throwback, cool. It is. Uh, John O'Neill Jr. ran at I-70 with this paint scheme back in the 90s, early 2000s. Yep. And I wanted to do a throwback for Boone, and that's what we settled with. I really like how simple yeah. it is, but everything pops. Yep. Um, and then the wrap before that was a throwback also. So. so I first saw you again this year uh, at Marshalltown at Mo Vegas. I was like, hey, there's Will. I'll take some pictures. Um, Super Nationals is hard to put into words for people that haven't been there. And I try to tell everyone I can. It's one of the most phenomenal things I've ever been to. What's it like from your point of view? Well, it's... <laughs> was it's, that Mad Dog in there just then? Was that, <laughs> yes. It's uh, it's something special, that's for sure. I mean, when you go and you have 200 cars in the class and, I mean, 20, 30 start the feature, that's tough. It takes a lot of luck, and it's just a really cool atmosphere. It's the steak sandwiches. It's the very questionable beauty contest on Thursday night. It's the, the Methanol Moonshine Slushies. It's the Jerry and Ryan show. It's, it's funny, mate. I'd, I never even heard of the event, you know, prior to 2021. And now I can't imagine my life without it. Oh, yeah. And I don't think anybody can imagine Super Nationals without you either. It's a, it's just so honest, you know? So pure. Like, it's, it doesn't pretend it's anything it isn't. Okay. And it's like, you can like me or love me. If you don't, then don't come. Right. I don't mean me. I mean the event yeah. itself. But yeah. um, Brett, Brett Root and the IMCA team, I can't say enough about them. Um, they, they treat me so kind. And, and I think they're a fantastic organization that runs the biggest dirt event, biggest fender and... You know, modified and, and mod light and late model and all that stuff combined event in the world, I think. Oh, it's it's by far the biggest um, event of its kind. You know, I'd say it's probably our equivalent of Knoxville Nationals. Yeah, um, yeah. It's the Daytona know, 500 of yeah, dirt, really. Daytona 500, yeah. So, uh, you got much racing left? Um, we're going to go to Independence next weekend, the mm -hmm. 11th and 12th. Yep. Possibly go to Park Jefferson the following Oh, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. They're and doing then, some good things, I hear. Yeah, that's, yeah, that track is, I uh, haven't been on it since I reconfigured it, but it uh, it looks fun. And then we'll probably finish up the year at Marshalltown the following week after that. Mo Vegas, he's got his oh, big yeah. event in October, doesn't he? Coming up late this, is it the Harvest Hustle or something like that? I think so. Yeah, Jay Van's a cool cat, I love it. Sure. Um, I'm excited to see what you do in the seasons ahead. I'm so grateful, you know, I get such huge support from Craig Ford myself. I get the, the Mini Van Halen to drive anywhere I like. He's, he's running a competition, how many miles did Wade put on my car this year so soon there'll be a facebook competition and he wants me to leave everything in the car i'm not allowed to clean anything out he wants to see what <laughs> scares me a little bit to be honest with you yeah you've been all over the place this year yeah i don't like to sit still i like to see this country and i love this country mate right. so mate let's do some pictures let's have some fun oh rock star sunnies 